Some of the things you'll be needing to create a basic skirt pattern include the pattern paper, your scissors, that's if you'll be cutting out the pattern, of course, and then your ruler. You need a straight ruler, preferably a very long one. And then you need a cuff, a hip cuff, for this kind of serve the purpose. And also your marker or pencil. It's actually better to make use of pencil so that you can clean it up if there be need for that. So I have this pattern already set. Here's a top margin and I drew a line at the center. We're working with the following measurement, width circumference of 33 inches, hip circumference of 43 inches, then the waist to hip length of 8.5 inches, and the full length of the skirt will be 27 inches. So I'll be creating a box here using the hip circumference because that's the largest part of the skirt so the hip circumference of 43 inches i'll be dividing it into two because i'm making one side will be half of the front and the other will be half of the back pattern that's why i'm dividing the hip circumference into two so 43 divided by two will be 21.5 and i'll just have that 21.5 divided into two place the middle at the center so that i can have the same measurement to the left and to the right so i'm placing my tape this way 10.75 along the top here and on to my right i'll measure 21.5 and to my left i'll start from zero so i'll come downward a little bit and take the same measurement 21.5 and 0 here. So I'm just doing this so that I can get straight lines. 21.5 and 0 here. Now I'll be marking the length of this skirt. Since it's a basic skirt, I'll be making use of 25 inches just up to my new line. So subsequently, if we need to elongate this, we'll be doing that together. So once again, I went for a length of 25 inches, which is basically from the waist to my knee. So you are free to work with your own measurement. At this point now, I need to mark from the waist to the hip. And we are making use of 8.5 inches. the center back and here will be the center front CF so I'll be marking the waist circumference from the center front this way so 33 divided by 4 which is 8.25 and I'll be adding additional 1 inch for that so 9.25 here so I'll be connecting that to the hip. So please note the placement of my curve. Curve. The curvy part is around the hip here. So don't, don't do this and have your curve this way. The skirt will appear weird. So let the curvy part be towards the curvy part of the body, which is the hip in this case. So I'm not marking the hip circumference again because this box is already hip circumference divided by four. So I'll just connect this to the hip like this. So I'll do the same thing for the back. 9.25 and connect it to the hip. So in order to have the, the waist fitted properly, 
you need a dart, right? So either you take this measurement and divide it into two to locate the position of your dart, especially if you're making your skirt, you can work with that. So if you're attaching this to a basic bodies to make a dress, your dart has to align with what you have on the bodies. So then you use your bust span, just the same way we do on the basic bodies. In this case, let's make use of the bust span and I'm making use of a bust span of eight inches and I'll divide it by two and that gives me four. So I'm putting four here. Now mark the same four along the hip line so I can create the dart line here. Okay, so now for the length of your dart, so we'll be making use of six inches here. Ensure that your dart is at least two inches above the hip line. This is the hip line. With this done, I'll mark half an inch on both sides and draw out the dart leg. Also on the back, I'll do the same thing. Mark four inches from the center back. So the back that doesn't have to be as long as the front that so I'll be making use of five inches here and connecting to create the dark legs like this. Remember that for the basic skirts, most time there will be a zip at the back. So you can draw out from the center back, measure one inch to the side to put your zip allowance. So here is the zip allowance. This is the front pattern, this is the back pattern. So for the front, raise the side, the side of the front pattern by half an inch, okay? Extend this by half an inch and connect it to the dart leg like this, okay? And then you lower the center front by half an inch. Okay, before you do this other connection, you need to close up the dart so that you can smoothen here properly. Okay, so you have this. And for the back, the back needs to meet up with what you have at the side of the front pattern here. So you're also going to raise the back by half an inch. and you just blend it into the other part of the skirt like this so you don't need to come inward. So next, you have to mark out the slits. Actually prescribe you measure your clients and ask them where they are comfortable with for slits because people are different. So you can make use of about 17 inches from the waist or you simply measure from the top of the skirt to whatever part of the skirt you want the slit to start from. So I'll be marking 17 inches here. So at this point, I'm adding extra one, you can add extra one inch or two inches. So I make use of one inch a lot. I'll just be extending mine by one inch and creating an extension for the slit here. Okay, so let me just label this as, as the slit or back vent, okay? So there we have it, the basic skirt. So this is for the back, this is for the front. Okay, but then if you want your skirt to look more fitted, you want a better fitting and tightening along the knee region, you have to mark here to make it what we call a pencil skirt, okay? You want to create more shape. For a basic pencil skirt or fitted skirt, you see what you took out here, which is 10.75. You're going to take out two inches from that and mark whatever value you get. So in this case, I'll mark 8.75 here. Or you can just simply measure two inches from the side both for the front and for the back and mark 
and next take one inch below this hip line and mark it then connect it to your new form here okay so we have this and for the back we have this okay there you have it this will be your fitted pencil skirt so what you're just going to do is cut out all of this cut it out So at the end of the day, this is what you have and you're ready to cut this out on fabric and make a beautiful skirt. Okay, so hopefully in the next tutorial, we can do some more work on this pattern. I'll be showing you how to mark out your band from here and how to further create a very contoured back, which you can use to create a very fitted outfit. Thank you and please watch my next video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Love you. Bye-bye.